Z zip up the pants here. Welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, I'm just messing with a golden banana. Wait, no, nope, nope, um, nope, nope, mm. nope, 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 not doing that. We all know it's silver, at least. <laughs> uh, at, the, at the very least, you know, some might call it a wooden spoon. But anyway. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yours is made of wood. <laughs> yeah, guess what I did? You figured out how to... <laughs> you figured out how to map buttons! So, Yay! here's my new setup for the C buttons. Because there were a couple duplicate buttons... I have now mapped the C buttons to the buttons where I will not do missed inputs, finally! So there we go. I have now mapped the C buttons, and we're good to go for the rest of the game. His faces always look weird to me. It does! It looks like the face is going, I thought it was like sucking a straw or something like that, and you just can't see the straw. That's a mad slurp you got going there, Statue Island, whatever. And yes, the task can totally go in this room oh, early. Oh, totally. Just... Again, walls are a suggestion for this game. If that... Oh, I didn't even realize there was a fucking... What? Ta-da! Oh, it feels good to finally have controls I like. Oh, there we go. There's a secret golden banana here at the back of Banana Fairy Island. Shot the banana fairy in the back of the head. Look, she had it coming. She didn't give me any of her drink. <laughs> I mean, you, you, ever, you ever have somebody get, get like a lemon shake up and you're like, Hey, let me have some of that. And they're like, nah, bro, I don't want you to have any of that. And then you just cap, cap them in the back of the head. <laughs> My dad pulled a joke on me once. I had like a root beer or whatever. And he's like, can I have some? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then he, while, while he takes just one sip, he makes it look he's going, go, go, go. <laughs> Just kind of moving, moving it around, you know. So. Oh, Dad, <laughs> come on! All right, this is the Banana Fairy Queen. What's, go what's going on, Queen? Someone stole all my birds from the third game. Oh no! Well, how about this? If I can get them back for you, can you help a sister out? How about that? Oh, Mrs. Fairy. Oh, I don't see a ring on that finger. She's also wearing, like, gigantic gloves. <laughs> it's underneath the gloves. Ah, okay. Just imagine if she took that glove off and you just see a giant rock on that finger. You gotta peel it off first, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me peel off your gloves, Mrs. Banana Fairy. So she hands you a camera? Uh, oh. Okay. Take a fairy's picture and that somehow captures them. So I gotta take a picture of somebody and then I seal their friendship? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, she does hook you up with an awesome power for doing this for her. Now we have a new ability where if you hold the B button, we unleash, like, a super-powered attack? That attack. Go! Yeah. It's a pretty good attack. It's got a nice area of effect. Here's the camera. No bonus points for taking a picture of the misses. <laughs> from from that unappealing angle. Take a picture of my good side. Oh, you you don't have one. I mean, uh How about if I just pick your best side <laughs> behind her? This is also where you find I believe it's your last golden banana. Forgetting every banana fairy in the game. Oh, we're gonna have to go to. Oh, we gotta go to the lost levels and get all the banana fairies. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just zooming right ahead in Banjo Kazooie. Shut up! It's not my fault there's a boatload of collectibles to get in this game. No, it isn't your fault. We know precisely who to blame, and exactly. we have blamed them for for over a decade now. Uh-huh. I mean, I blame them with... Over two decades now. With, like, a hint of love. It's like, hey, Rare, I understand. You wanted to elongate this game by, like, a million years. So I do appreciate that. Well, they wanted to be, like, the ultimate one. You know, like, Banshee kazooie relatively speaking, is kind of short. 
Banjo Tooie is not as long as this. I don't think even Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was as long as this game. Oh God, no! Conqueror's this, Bad Fur Day. Gonna, can... It's got to be the ultimate one. I will say there has never been a Donkey Kong game like this since. Like they don't go on adventures anymore; they just go on side-scrolling, you know, trips. It's like, hey, Donkey, you want to go in 3D? <laughs> You're not going anywhere near 3D, little buddy. <laughs> You know, I, I do miss this format. Like, a big adventure that you go on with all your friends. It just doesn't happen anymore. You, you just need a fine tooth comb. You need to mm -hmm. re just refine it a bit. Yeah. Well, we can't do this yet. We can go visit Snide. Oh, hey, somebody came to visit. It's, that's, that's real nice, actually. I need those blueprints, so go get them for me, eh? Get out of here. Don't you want to get some lunch or something? Nah, man. Last time I went out to lunch, K. Rule just gave me cooked alligator. You think we get breaks here? Nah. Doesn't happen that way. It just doesn't happen. I'm trying to form a union. That's why I need the blueprints, so I can learn how to make a union. <laughs> it's just blueprints on how to make the ultimate chocolate sundae. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chocolate syrup goes on the ice cream. I get it now. They're putting it in the ice cream. Oh. Actually, that's not too... That wouldn't be that What are bad. you talking about, Kong? You put bananas in your banana split? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, man. Uh, it's this level. This one makes me happy. Uh-huh. It's, it's this level. Oh, wait. I should say I hate this level. It's this level. Frantic Factory is infamous. Not only is it big and gigantic and huge, but now there's an entire map to do with it. And you can't just go from one place to another. You gotta find the door for it. You gotta unlock it this way and not in that way. And mm -hmm. I think we're getting to the point where I stopped. Frantic Factory is also home of one of the hardest golden bananas in the game. I, I can't pin an actual point as to where I stopped playing, but we are getting in the ballpark. As to where I just just moved on. Yeah. Because this game was so long. Hmm, what's on the telly? <laughs> My ass is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, I love this show. I can't slow down! <laughs> Come on. Oh, they got, they got him. They, they killed Diddy. Well, great. Now I'm down a Kong again. Because guess who shows up in the frantic factory? Swanky. Swanky Kong is our new Kong! <laughs> there he is! Hey! What's up, man? Junkie doesn't like heights. Well, I can help you with that. Do you like weights? He's been pumping iron. I mean, look at that kid. He might come off as like a, a doofy young one, but man, he's ripped. Well, there's one thing I'm glad the game doesn't do, and I just thought of that. I just thought of this. They could totally have done this. Hmm. Having Kongs rotate out from time to time. It'd be interesting, but I don't know how you would do it for the aspect that you come back to levels to finish them again. It would, it would basically mean that, oh, you got you got everybody, and then when you go into level four, oh, it uh, turns out Diddy had to go away for something, or Donkey Kong got kidnapped again. <laughs> so, uh -oh. so now you gotta go do level five and six without Donkey, because level six is where you save him, which means then you gotta go back to level five as Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit too much backtracking for my taste. They could have done that, but they didn't. I'm glad they didn't. That's correct. They did not do that. Uh, when you have the Kongs, you have them forever. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. Yes, it is nice having them forever. They're my Kongs. Forever. <laughs> Alright, clock in. Well, you don't want to get paid for the shift? Come on. Dad, the boss told me I can't work overtime anymore. Oh, crap. There's actually a lady at my work who worked so, who infamously worked so much overtime. But they had to stop her from taking so much overtime, she got pissed. Wow! How does that even happen? How, how do you not notice somebody's time card is like a hundred hours? 
Oh, she just kept picking up shifts? Oh. To the point where she had, like, for a hundred hours a week. Okay, that's kind of BS, because if you work the time, you deserve the time. Yeah, but she worked too much the time. Well... She, she was, like, taking shifts away from everybody else, basically. Oh, okay. And, and she was doing this basically to support her fucking parasitic son. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, we don't need that. I will say, now that summer is here, I've been getting a lot more hours at work. And seeing that time card hit overtime every week is just... Ah, chef's kiss. It's nice. Yes. Get that, get that bread. And butter. And bacon. Ooh. Just get that food. That sounds pretty good. Frantic Factory is also a place where you get some of the best power-ups in the game for every con. Like, they hook you up in Frantic Factory. There's just all these bananas I can't get lying around. It, it is distressing. No joke, it was driving me insane. Just sitting here... Just thinking, oh my god, I'm going to have to remember where all of this crap is. Th this is going to drive me insane. And then you got buttons everywhere, you got coins just strewn everywhere. I mean, clean up after yourselves, Kremlings. God. This level stinks. It smells so bad. The stench is awful. It is really tapping into my olfactory senses. Boo. Yeah, no. Boo. That stunk. That had a big stench. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, that's about the only factory pun I could come up that, with. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, at the rate you're going, you're not an assembly line. I mean, come on. Oh, thank God I have yeah, enough can money. Only you can only manufacture them so fast, you know? <laughs> Are you a robot? <laughs> no, but I have an android. Man, that was good. Here's our first power-up. Very, very important move. The ponytail twirl. Oh, I think I can probably do this one. Uh -huh. Good. Just let your hair down. Okay, uh, alright. You need to have two ponytails. Oh, two ponytails. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can... This is great for a commentary-based show. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Basically, Tiny has a hover ability. And, well, I mean, you're gonna be flying with one chopper short, dude. Well, yeah, I don't have an extra hair tie, so... No, that's okay. Well, you can go back to the single. That's fine. I mean, Dixie only used one, so... That's true. That is a great move. You can get to so many extra places with the ponytail twirl. But now we have a bunch of other Kongs to go through uh, to get everything. There's no change barrel here, is there? There's one right outside. Okay. I did. They at least did you that much. All right. All right, so there's nothing from Candy, which is good. Which means we can just jump right into that DK barrel and do it all again. Let's see what else we got here. We want an upgrade for your sacks? Okay, here's a new reed. It's, it tastes like candy. Mmm, <laughs> delicious reed candy. I think they do have flavored reeds. Ew, why? That, because when you put it in your mouth, it, uh, Well, so it's, okay. Do you want to taste a balsa wood all day? Well, I'm just thinking I don't want to lend it to anybody. Well, you don't lend reeds to other people! But I've heard of people doing people that! People do that?! Yes! We're disgusting! Well, they're probably <laughs> fucking, I don't know! <laughs> oh, the Baboon Balloon is Lanky's new power-up for this level. You'll have a swell time no. with this. <laughs> Basically, you put an air pump up Blanky's ass and he turns into a balloon. You know, uh, this, this, uh, this potion used to cost 27 cents, but now it costs $18 thanks to inflation. Oh, God damn it! Oh! Donkey! What is your new power-up? First of all, shoot the goddamn balloon so we can move on! <laughs> Jesus! I was worried I was losing my touch, but I don't- I- I- I think I'm good now. <laughs> don't make me blow up at you again! 
Seven coins? Cranky, come on, not made of money. Okay. Seven coins to learn how to grab things. Oh, hands! Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Opposable thumbs! Sick. Look at these get here. Yeah, so Cranky literally gives you a potion to let you learn how to pull a lever. That's really stupid. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, I mean, Don I don't think Donkey's that smart. I mean, well, he was in the he was in the Donkey Kong Country trilogy. <laughs> But he got captured for two of them. Uh, that's that's a very good point. Honestly, Cranky could be like this game's uh, snake oil salesman. <laughs> these, <laughs> these things don't even work. He's just telling him how they use them. So you you drink this potion for twenty coins, you can learn how to appreciate fine dining. <laughs> fine dining and breathing. <laughs> that's all you will know how to do when you drink this potion. This is another good one, the Simeon Spring. It's only used for the pads with Diddy's face on it, but this means we can get every golden banana in here now. All right. We were rich enough to be able to move on and get all the golden bananas. Because we're taking the time to go through each level as much as we can. Precisely. And yes, I am aware that a good portion of this video was literally getting power-ups, but it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. Well, I mean, every time you go into a new stage, there's like a checklist we have to do. Mm -hmm. We gotta activate the pads, we gotta activate, you know, all the mm -hmm. all the new powers that we gotta get. We gotta find the blueprints, gotta find bananas, you know, it's just... It's, it's a checklist! Checklist the game. I mean, at least you're having fun in Banjo-Kazooie, I'm just there for the ride. I will give it this. So far, every level, you, we've had to save a Kong. We saved Diddy and Jungle Japes. Angry Aztec, we saved Lanky and Tiny. This is the last Kong we have to save. And wouldn't you know it... Camera? Thank- oh, no. Are you tr trying to clip or something? Uh, oh, no, I was trying to get the camera to cooperate. I'm not good at clipping. Uh... All we have to do is save Chunky and we're done, and guess what? We did it. We're done. He's afraid of heights? Well... Let's just bring him down. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> my boy! <laughs> yeah! Chunky Kong, welcome. He's got the green bananas. Okay, we freed all the Kongs. Now let's evacuate and get out of here before K. Rule destroys this place. <laughs> but what about Rambi? We can find other rhinos! <laughs> Not ones that listen to commands as well as Rambi did. Yay, I'm happy. Chunky has some of my favorite mini-games. Now we have representation. <laughs> <laughs> For the big chunksters out there, yeah! <laughs> oh, he's got bananas everywhere, man. This is great. Alright. Um, there's, there's stuff over here for Tiny, and there's no, like, DK barrel anywhere. Again, I think a lot of this could have been fixed if there was some form of switch character on the fly mechanic. I think that would make it too easy. No, it wouldn't. I mean, you'd still have to find things to do. No, that's true. Okay, that's a chunky balloon. And there's some coins for Diddy. There we go. That's what I was looking for. At the very least, have like, you know, a... Uh, you know... Still have the DK barrels, but you can like switch on, on, like, on like a timer, though. That'd be kind of cool. Like, all right, I'm gonna switch to Diddy Kong, and I can't do it for another 25 seconds, minute, or whatever. Well, I'm also thinking, how difficult would it have been on the N64 to have an aspect like that? Well, I don't know, because Mystical Ninja did it with between four characters. I don't know how hard it would be. Uh, but, but there's a, probably a lot more to the Kongs in this game than in yeah. Mystical Ninja. But I'm thinking, what, you're telling me that Konami were better programmers than Rare was? Yeah. Don't say that out loud, the ninjas are around. Well, maybe back in the day, who knows, but... You know. Oh, that, that is possible. Now, was that strictly Konami that did going on, or was that an offshoot? They just were under Konami's umbrella. It's... they're made by a specific company within Konami. Or, or do they still exist? I, I don't know. Okay. It's Konami Computer Entertainment Osaka, I believe. They sound reputable. 
It's basically the same as, you know, Nintendo EA D3 or something. Gotcha. Okay. So that kind of offshoot. It's basically, you know, one of the people within the company. The difference between Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right. Do, do you get it, man? Do you get it? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here. Do you, I got it. You I get the it. point? I understand. <laughs> do you? Do you? <laughs> Don't ask if that hurt. No. Thankfully, no. Alright, so those are chunky coins. We can actually have him buy stuff. It's great. <laughs> Does he even know how money works? Look. Does he understand the point of currency? While growing up, he was able to figure out that money equals ice cream, I assume. <laughs> so, money equals good stuff. He at least knows that. <laughs> you know... Characters that are, you know, slightly doofy, but extremely strong. I don't know, for some reason I gravitate towards characters like that. Because you're doofy and extremely strong? I'm one of those things. Yes, indeed, I am doofy. <laughs> I was about to say, you're pretty strong. <laughs> okay. Banana fairies are annoying, I have found out. They have to have a green smiley face, otherwise the picture does not count. Uh, and they they just they just zip all over the place. What what are you even doing? There we go. Now for doing this, because this is technically a side quest, Banana Fairy hooks you up. Ooh. Maxes out everything that you currently have. Sick. Gives you one extra roll of film and one extra crystal coconut for every fairy you get. Well, that's handy. Yeah! So, thanks a lot, missus. Did me a favor. Alright, that's one for Donkey. We'll come back for that. Beats having to play Simon Says. It's another one of those... Why is this a minigame? But I kind of understand. It's to add more to the game. I don't know what it adds or why we needed to do it or anything, but it's, it's, it's here. Varieties of spice of life. Yeah, but you can put too much garlic powder in something. <laughs> oh man, I mean it tastes good, but ooh, that's a lot. It's so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it also seems they had ideas where they wanted to make sure you were using a Kong special ability in order to get to them. Otherwise, they, it would just be like pointless. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the only way to get into there was to use Tiny's ability. Alright, what is this? Nope! How did I even do that? That wasn't even a missed input, that was just me being dumb. A dartboard! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me use my saxophone to blow the feathers here. So, this one's self-explanatory. Just hit the thing they ask for. Nope! No! no! Damn it! Oh, no. come on. There we go. Watermelon. Banana. banana crystal coconut, coconut. Banana metal. Ammo. Ammunition. Hey, we did it. No need for the roll of film, I guess. Oh, banana. Why are the Kremlings using this as a dartboard? And <laughs> <laughs> they look around and go... Golly, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> what are we? Do we start having an existential crisis. Okay, well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. We're gonna figure this out. Huh? Like, why are we? Why? I can't. I can't. Ugh. The, the Kremlings aren't picking up W's like the other Kremlings are. They're picking up Y. Alright, Chunky. Let's take you for a test Bring drive. Bring him out. Bring him out. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. No, no. <laughs> Tiny. 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 Use her. <laughs> Big old coward, but this coward packs a mean punch. Love this dude. He's hilarious. And the best part is, in the DK barrel, he's like, he's asking for you. He's like, hey, pick me. Right here. Right here. Okay, Big I'll man. pick you. Oh, no, oh, no. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Oh. <laughs> The, the Kong of a million funny sound effects, and his, like, running attack is just like, 
I'm a little excited to see him go back to the other stages, though. Mm hmm It's like, oh, everything that we missed, we can now get! He has some very unique ideas attached to the golden bananas. Like, I'm just thinking of one that blew me away when I was a kid. It's back in Jungle Jape, so we're, we'll hit that after we're done with Frantic Factory. But it's just so simple, and yet it just flabbergasted me. Oh my god, he's too big for the alcove. <laughs> Tiny, can I borrow your barrel? <laughs> there we go. Also, just that midair, like, somersault cannonball he does. Hilarious. He's, he can get some distance. Huh? Obviously, he's the slowest of the Kongs, but that doesn't even matter. You don't use Chunky to run marathons. Oh. <laughs> just want to listen to his soundboard. It's so funny. There are, there are some physics mistakes with that cannonball, man. <laughs> he can do it for so long, too! Oh! Chunky do ninja training for two weeks! Best two weeks of life! <laughs> there it is! The hardest oh, God. fucking banana in the game. Oh, I would play Donkey Kong 64 in the mornings before I went to school. And it usually consists of me trying to do that stupid fucking arcade game. It mm. didn't work out. And then I would go to school with a sour mood. Yeah. Those days in college were bad, tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Come on, C-Stick. Or control stick. If you try to tell a monkey to use a camera, of course it's not going to work out that great. Probably flash himself in the face. Uh, nope. Uh, well, uh, we we got the fairy, but it's not center, so we can't use this. But you got you got the the fairy center, but it's like two miles away. Yeah. <laughs> we can barely see if we if we enhance and zoom, but eh, that counts. Jesus, if this had Pokemon Snap rules, we'd be done by now. <laughs> oh, you got to get the four star rating for that one. <laughs> Chunky, my man! You are getting some firepower this episode. Funky Kong, what you got for him? It's gotta be big, just like Chunky. So why not something that launches pineapples? <laughs> Pineapple gun! He's getting a rocket launcher that shoots full pineapples at things. God damn! You ever had a pineapple thrown at your head? It fucking hurts! No, I meant like, a f not slice, a full, honest to god, picked <laughs> from the tree pineapple. <laughs> Just hey, let's go! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up his mic. He threw that pineapple so violently. Throw your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of damage that Chunky Kong can do. Jesus, Chunky, Fuck. easy man. We just got you for your <laughs> debut. Well, next time we'll see what he can really do. Now that he has some firepower. Oh. See you guys next time. Is my mic okay? I, I think I think it's okay. Okay. I think it, yeah, oh, it's fine. You might have to adjust it a little bit, but oh, it maybe, maybe it isn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it should be fine. Uh, alright. That's yeah, alright.